Today I'm going to show you how to build a very simple website using WordPress.com. WordPress is one of the biggest platforms that you can use to create a website. This is where 43% of the world is built on. There are more bloggers here, there are small businesses here, and there are even Fortune 500 companies here that are on WordPress. So it's a very, very popular platform. And if you're a beginner, this is where you really want to get started in order to get your feet wet so that in the future you can be able to create professional, very much professional websites using this platform. Now, one of the major differences between WordPress.com and WordPress.org is that WordPress.com offers you a hosting service. Okay, so what that basically means is that all your files will be stored on WordPress.com. But as you can see, you can get a free package. Okay, you don't have to pay anything as yet. You can start with a free package, which will give you themes. Okay, it has beautiful themes and patterns, unlimited pages, unlimited users. So you pretty much get basic features with a free package for WordPress.com. So all you want to do is come over to WordPress.com. You first have to sign up, so make sure you create your account. And then you're going to click on either login or just get started. Okay, here it's now going to ask you to choose a domain. Now it just depends on what it is that you want to, you know, what you want to write about, what you want your website to be all about. So for me, I'm going to enter something like fitness for you. And as you can see down here, it's going to suggest for you other related domain names. So we have fitness for you.blog, and then you have fitness for you online. But these ones are usually paid, okay? They're just basically just going to sell it to you. But you don't really need to use any of this. Just use like the one that's down here. So if this one is not available, it's going to show you the one that is available. So this one is the one that's available, fitness for you, aid.wordpress.com. And if you're satisfied with this, you can go ahead and select that. Again, here it's going to offer you different options. So they have the payment packages here that you can select from. For me, I'm just going to go with start with free. And then it's now going to ask you, what are your goals? So tell us what you'd like to accomplish with the website. So they have write and publish, promote myself for business, import my existing website content, sell online, get a website built quickly, and other. Now, if you're not sure what you want, you can just go with the first one here, and then click on continue. And then now it's going to ask you to give your blog a name. So I'm just going to say fitness for you. Once you're done, you can enter a tagline. For me, I'm just going to click on continue. It's going to give you a few options here. You can now start writing immediately. Or you can watch blogging videos to get more ideas. You can choose your design. So I recommend going with this first because it's going to offer you different themes. So click on this one first. And now from here, you can select different themes. Now WordPress offers you lots and lots of different themes that you can select from here and use for your WordPress website. Okay, so you can just go ahead and select whatever pleases your eyes. Now, if you come back up over here, they have different categories, okay? This is basically for blogs. All these are for blogs. Here they have portfolio. Okay, you can select a portfolio type of website. They have business. They have store, art and design, about, health and wellness. So this is where my niche is. So I can go ahead and select any from here. They have link in bio, authors and writers, magazine, music, restaurants. And then they have more over here. So I'm just going to select this. All right, so now you can see how your website is going to look like. Okay, this is basically the homepage theme. All right. And then up over here, as you can see, they have different formats. You can view on desktop, which is this. You can view on tablet. So this is basically just going to allow you to see how your website is going to look like on different platforms. Here you have mobile. Okay. So if you're satisfied with the look of that, you can go ahead. You can even select more colors if you want to change your palette styles. Okay. They have this. Now this mainly changes, as you can see, it's mainly changing the buttons and this uh, top area over here as well so you can just go ahead and select whatever it is that you like once you're done you can just go back to colors you also have fonts select you can also select different types of fonts as you can see they have all kinds of fonts so for me i'm just going to go back and click on continue now we are ready to start creating posts and articles for our website okay now what you want to do from here is to write articles that has a high number of searches now you can find this using different tools one of them is Planner. So this is Keyword Planner. It's a tool offered by Google that allows you to search keywords that you can use for your articles. Now, before you go on to search for keywords, there are actually two types of keywords that you want to keep in mind. There is transactional keywords and informational keywords. So transactional are keywords like best. Okay, those keywords are set with best or top, like maybe best fitness equipments, best way to lose weight fast, best way to gain abs top 10 ways to gain muscles and then informational uh, keywords are like 
how to's okay those ones that start with how to so how to lose weight fast how to gain muscle fast these are things that people search for depending on what it is that they want to do if they type on best they're probably just looking for you know a type of comparison where they can actually compare different products before they make a purchase whereas for information is just basically a normal search just to get information on how to do something so for me i'm going to be using a transactional post i'm going to use something like best so i can type here best and i'll just type fitness all right and then now i'm going to deselect my country because i want to target a larger uh, region okay i'll just close it like that and even to be specific you can even target a certain location so for me i can enter united states and then just select target okay if you want to enter more you can go ahead and do that you just type like another country there select target okay so all the countries that you select will be shown over here for now click on save and then now click on get results all right so now it's going to give you a table of search results so we have our key search result which was here best fitness now this one itself gets between 10,000 to 100,000 average monthly searches and then now as you can see it also shows you the competition here and the competition here is low because many people don't just type best fitness it's usually best fitness something okay that's why you're seeing there's no competition but as you can see down here we have things like best fitbit okay so fitbit i believe is an is a watch a fitness watch so it gets 10k to 100k and the competition is high now this here is what you want to avoid okay because if the competition is high chances of you ranking on google are very very slim okay you'll never rank on the top five pages of google so what you want to do is look for something that has medium or low competition okay so if you can just scroll down over here let's go to the next section okay now as you can see we have a lot of high but we also have some medium so what we have here for medium uh, medium is fitbit black friday deals okay now we can't really use this because this is for a certain date for black friday okay now unless you are actually targeting black friday you can go ahead and use this but by the time you get to black friday i'm sure the competition will be high so this is not relevant next we have this one here which is fitbit charge and black friday so this is also still black friday okay a certain date so this is basically how you can easily use keywords and find keywords that you can use for your article now I can go ahead and search for more since the keyword uh, the competition here is high for most keywords I can search something like best way to gain muscle fast all right now click on results so as you can see our main keyword itself best way to gain muscle fast gets 100 to 1k and the competition is low now as you can see the result is not really high what you typically want to look for is something that's at least 1k and above okay so here we have next is build build muscle fast so this one now gets 1k between uh, between 1k to 10k and the competition is medium okay now as you can see so all these keywords they have low competition maybe this one has high but most of them have low competition so these are the keywords that you can use to write for your articles because as you can see the search results are high for most of them and competition is low so for me i'm going to use this one here so best way to gain muscle fast okay i'm going to use this as a topic for my article now i can come back to my website and then just paste it right there all right and then now you want to add an image all right so we're going to click on this plus over here this is called the gutenberg builder okay wordpress uses something known as the gutenberg builder it's a default builder for wordpress which comes with different elements that you can use to build your website if you just click on this plus over here you can create a paragraph so this is just for creating a giving you a text box to create your text or write your text you have images you have headings you have gallery so if you want multiple images you can select gallery you have lists so this comes with the bullet points it also has quotes and if you click on browse all you'll see on the left hand side here it's going to give you all of the tools that you can use to build your website okay so for me i'm going to select an image um where was the image again so this one here okay i'm going to select this so just click on that and then now here is where you can upload your image so we can go over to google let's quickly just grab an image for weight loss i'm actually going to go to pexels.com and just type over here muscle okay i'll select orientation because i want horizontal images okay now i can go ahead and use any of these muscle images so i'll select this one here all right now i'll come back to wordpress click on upload select image go to media library click on upload media and select my image and click on insert 
So there we go. Now let's create our paragraph for our text. Click on this plus again. And then here's where you're going to have your paragraph and here's where you're going to enter your text. Now you can use ChatGPT to write for you content on your article. So you can just copy this and then just come to ChatGPT. You paste your title there and click on enter. Okay, so now we have our article written here. So uh, what I should have asked ChatGPT to do is to write, uh, write for me an article on the best way to gain muscle fast. That would have given me a more detailed article because what it's done here is given me a very short uh, article and it's basically just written tips on how to gain muscle fast. Okay, but this is just pretty much how you'd uh, write an article. Uh, you can ask ChatGPT to write you an article or another way that you can do it, you can use ChatGPT's AI PRM extension okay that is what i use to write most of my articles so if you come back over to new chat as you can see this is why my chat gpt looks different i use this extension called ai prm chat gpt prompts and it's an extension that comes with thousands of prompts as you can see it's currently having 4166 prompts and this number keeps growing every single time because there are so many developers here who are uploading different prompts for chat gpt now one of the best prompts that you can use for your article is this one here the human written 100 unique seo optimized article or the fully seo optimized article including faqs now i usually use one of these so for example if i select this one here it tells me that it's been selected here and here's where i can enter the title or the keyword for my article so i can just paste it again over there and then i'll click on enter and as you can see right off the bat it gives us a title okay a full title this is a h1 tag title for your article it also has the introduction here and then it has the h2 tag titles over here and then the h3 subtitles below here okay so this is a fully seo optimized article that you can use for your website and as you can see it's also included faqs okay this is also very very important for seo as well as conclusion so now you can go ahead and use this okay just copy all of this uh, let me do that again copy this and then now come to our WordPress website and then just paste our article right there. Okay, so there we go. We have our article, fully SEO optimized article that we can use for our simple WordPress website. And then now from here, you can throw in affiliate links. And this is how you can easily make money from your WordPress blog. Just make sure the product that you're promoting is related to your article. So for me, in this case, I would promote, you know, products related to gaining muscles. So I can go to a website like this, an affiliate network like Monish. Okay, Monish.com is a, a supplement website that offers supplement products such as weight gain products, weight loss products, and things like that. So what you want to do is go over to brands. Once you've logged in, go over to brands, which will then take you to this page. So these are the products that they're offering. They have weight loss products, weight loss products, testosterone boosters. Okay, so what you want to look for are products that are related your niche so for me i can i can promote something like legal steroids okay they have brutal force and then they also have another one here which is called juiced up okay so i can promote any of these since they are muscle building products i can open for example this one here and what i would do is grab the affiliate link so they have the affiliate link over here click on this all right and then click on copy this here is the affiliate link or tracking link you can copy this all right now you can close this even to look at more details about the product that you're promoting you can click on details over here which will allow you to see the home page or the sales page you can click on this just to get a glimpse of what it is exactly that you're promoting because you just don't want to promote anything you're not really sure of all right so this is where your traffic will be redirected okay this is where they're going to buy the product so this looks like a professional website or a landing page that you can use once you've grabbed your affiliate link now you can come back to your wordpress website you can come back down to your article you can basically just promote the product anywhere. You can promote it at the top of your article, in the middle of your article, or at the bottom section of your article. Personally, I like promoting mine at the bottom of my article. So what I would do, I would enter text over here, and I'll say something like Brutal Force is a supplement that helps you build muscle fast. And then I would say, click here for more. All right. So now what you pretty much want to do is just highlight you can highlight all of this could uh, to be a link or you can just highlight where it says here then click on this link over here which you're going to set your affiliate link then just paste it there and click on enter okay so it's just as simple as that once you're done with your website now you can click on publish 
click on publish again so it says your first post has been published you can click on view post so this is now how it looks like okay we have our article over here we have our affiliate link over here okay and then here's where people can uh, leave comments on the article and if you want to see how your website looks like the home page you can just click on this uh, title of your website so minus fitness for you which will then show you how your website will look like from the home page okay now as you can see it looks really really good now of course you're going to change everything here yeah basically just going to edit now in my next video i'm going to show you how you can edit your wordpress website to make it suit your theme now to install ai prm this extension that has allowed us to write this article you can download it from google chrome store okay or you can just go over to my website which is robertokello.com you're going to go over to ai tools click on extension and you're going to click on chat gpt chrome extension because it is a chat gpt chrome extension which will take you to this page okay it's the first one here called ai prm and you're going to click on download ai prm extension all right so once you have that downloaded you can come back to chat gpt click on refresh you're going to have it now looking like this now another prompt that i wanted to share with you here for ai prm is a monthly calendar okay you want to use this monthly calendar so what this is going to do is that it's going to give you a calendar that you can use to write your articles okay that calendar is going to contain different topic articles that you can use in your niche to write articles so just for example let me click on this and show you how i would use it for my niche so i can type fitness and weight loss and as you can see what it's done here it's given me a table for uh, this month so the first week you have the second week you have the third week and you have the fourth week and the first week it has the first blog title which is top 10 workouts to shed pound fast uh, the second day is seven day fat burning challenge get results now the next day is uh, the ultimate guide to home workout and the following day is how to choose the right gym for your fitness goals so these are different articles that you can use from different dates to write for your website okay it works really really well this is what i also use for my content calendar for robertokello.com and you can also use it too this is going to make it easier for you to come up with topic ideas